Louisiana Beer Reviews, Best Made Bread and Butter Pick Butters, Bread and Butters Pickle Beer, Sweet, it says, 6.5% alcohol by volume, made in Texas by Texans. So this is made by Martin House Brewing in collaboration with Best Made Pickle Company. Started in the 1920s. This is 6.5. This is more like a pickle malt liquor. This is over a year old. And it was sent to me by John in Oregon. He tried them and um, uh, he hated it. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen his review. For, I haven't watched any reviews for this particular one. But um, he wanted to see what I thought about it. Now, the the... The original one, the uh, sour pickle, even though it was old, you know, a year old out, um, still tastes so good. I mean, I can't get these fresh. They're not sold in Louisiana. I've never, never, never. I might, maybe I've seen best made pickles at the store and I just didn't buy them. We usually get Cajun, you no, know, Cajun Chef is like peppers. We get, um, well, of course, Vlasic, which to me are dull. We get uh, Mount Olive. A lot of well, well, we do get Cajun Chef in the big, the big containers. Yeah, um, and Food Club, the uh, store brand. I, I don't. And then at Winn Dixie Southern Grocers, Aldi has their own brands. I don't really buy pickles. I like them. I just, I just don't buy them. Okay. So let's check it out. Thank you, John, for sending this to me. These videos are getting posted slowly because I'm, I'm very backlogged on my own videos from the Shiner Variety Pack. And then uh, Douglas and Virginia sent me some beers to review a good amount. And then John did. So just um, putting them out, it's, it's difficult. Okay, so, um, and so if you're, I appreciate your patience if you sent me the beer. Um, I'm not trying to ignore the beer. Whitehead, a very cloudy appearance. Uh, I guess these with brine would be a Goza beer. Uh, there's a website, but it's virtually worthless. Uh, just uh, Best Made Pickle says, uh, like a page saying, uh, you ought to try these beers made with our pickle juice and so forth, and but it doesn't. And Martin House doesn't tell you anything useful, so I'll put the link, but it won't do you any good. Um, the reviews for these, you got to really, you can't pay much mind to reviews because you're going to have some people that's going to say, it's a zero out of 100, it's undrinkable. It made me throw up one video, the guy said he was puking, I wasn't watching that, you know, but uh, now a lot of it is, to me, dramatics because, come on, I, I've been eating pickled cucumbers my whole life and they never made me gag or anything like that. I'm not sitting there saying I want to drink pickle juice, but to say that it's like, oh, 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 I can't take it. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, come on. Let's get over it. Uh, this is hazy yellow, gold yellow. All right, it's a cold day. The wind has picked up. When I was walking at five, no. Not five. Well, really five, but 6.15, 6.15 daylight time, but 5.15 in real time. There was no breeze whatsoever. Now it's picking up. I don't know what a bread and butters, butters, plural. I don't know what a bread and butters pickle is. I see them in all the stores, but I'm sure I've tried them at people's houses, whatever. But I, I don't know what that is supposed to be. Like, do they add butter to it or uh, I don't know what it is I'll just tell you the truth I don't know what that is uh, maybe I should research that yeah it's a lot different from the sour pickle the sour pickle is really tart more tart than sour but um sure had a nice aroma this one is um, hmm. maybe it is buttery all right taste cheers more liquor pickle beer oh but don't worry it's very tart <laughs> in the flavor it hasn't gone off I guess the pickling well what do you do with why do you pickle beets why do you pickle onions onion why do you pickle cucumbers and green beans so that they'll be preserved and they have a long long oh so very long shelf life 
I know some people that drink so much seem like they, they're doing a self-pickling. My father always jokes about that. He said, yeah, if, you, when they, if they died and you put a match by their body, it would just go poof. <laughs> it would just you know, go up in flame. I said, oh, that's, that's not good. He, he'll say that they're pickled. Um, well, I mean, this is tart. It's like, ooh, But it is very good. Medium bodied. Is it a sweet finish? No, no. No. Is it a dry finish? Somewhat. Is it a tart thingy type pickle juicy extrapolation finish? Yeah. It's a strange finish, so. <laughs> oh man, this thing is crazy. I know, I understand beers like this. They're more like a novelty act. It's a novelty. It's like the uh, founder's French toast bastard. It's not a beer to just drink. Say, oh, I'm going to drink a beer. I'm home from work. Man, the boss was getting on my nerves today. What's his problem, man? He's telling me things that are counterintuitive. Like, if I do what he says, it's going to actually take longer. And, you know, you get frustrated and stuff like that. I gotta have a beer. Well, you're probably not gonna reach for Founders French Toast Bastard or Abita French Toast Stout or, you know, this uh, Best Made. I was about to say Well Made. That's a whiskey. Best Made <laughs> Bread and Butters Pickle Beer. Nah, you're just gonna grab regular old beer, I would I assume. If you're in England, you might be grabbing something like Foster's, that 4% shabby thing that they get. We get the 5% here and the 5.5% premium ale, ESB. Or they might grab um, what they call over there, Carling, another 4% shabby subject. Canada, they'll probably grab a Moosehead or, or a... Canadian, after work, Labatt Blue, United States, Miller High Life, or a Coors Banquet, you know. In Australia, they grab a Victoria Bitters, Vic, v, Vic Bitter, what do they call it, Vic, VB. But as a novelty act, it does a good job. Uh, I have to say, it would be a good thing to bring to a party like, y'all want to try something crazy? You want me to play a ukulele? No, don't do that. Okay. You want to try a pickle beer? Or do you want to play Risk? Nobody wants to play Risk. Well, I would, you know. They might say, yeah, let's try a pickle beer. And they say, oh, wow, that's pickly. It does have, okay, I'm starting to get a handle on this thing. It has a sugary sweetness to it. Maybe that's what bread and butter's pickles are. Sugary sweet. Mm, I don't know. It's like a semi-sweet pickle. I'm going to say three and a, it might be four, though. I'm going to tell you, let's say but we'll concede that it could be too high. Four out of five sugar cubes. Uh, bitterness, um, no. zero out of five hop cones. Pickliness, five out of five cocktail pickles. Um, can't say I want to get in the habit of drinking it, but um, it's got a huge amount of sediment in there. There's these white chunks of, I don't know what those are, but if I ever had a mind to drink pickle beer, I guess I couldn't do it because I've never seen it in Louisiana, but there's a horse fly and it's flying all around me like it's crazy. I think the, no, that's a, 
if the yellow jacket, it's going crazy because of the beer. I'm putting the beer down. Okay, um, this beer attracts po poisonous insects. All right, um, I'm going to score it an A, 94 out of 100, 9.4 out of 10. It's a strange product, uh, make you get stung. Look, I put it down. No buzzing. And I'm going to end this review review by saying y'all go to, um, where is Martin House? Dallas, Texas? Oh, Fort Worth. Oh, yeah. Different town. But close. And I'm going to, and that's where the big Miller Brewery is. We called them one time. When do y'all give tours? The lady on the phone was like, I'm not sure. But if you call back in 30 minutes, they could tell you. So we were like, oh, man, we want to go on that tour. Because we had a lot of time for the Rangers game. And then we called back. Hello, Miller Brewing. We said, when do you give the tours? We don't give tours at this facility. We were like, <laughs> you know. All right. Thank you for watching this video production.